Hello and welcome to your second UDK tutorial and in this tutorial we're just going to do the very very basics of our interface so at the end you probably won't feel like you can actually make a whole lot using the program yet but you should have a greater understanding of the interface so when you start up you should probably see something like this now basically this is our perspective viewport but don't worry about what that means yet and just go ahead and click this button it looks like the restore button so we get all four of these areas. Now this bottom left area here is the one where you actually see what you think you would see. So you kind of see the actual 3D objects and things. So we see our actual red cube. So this is called our perspective viewpoint as I mentioned earlier. So this is the actual 3D view. Now we have different options for this but don't worry about those yet. Now if you want to navigate around your perspective viewport you can just hold right click and it's kind of like a first person shooter you can just look around and you can hold left click to pan in and out and you can hold left click and right click to pan up and down but you can also use WASD controls which is what I use so you can just hold right click and just navigate around using WASD like so now as for these other areas, I'm just going to show you what they're about now. So I'm going to change this red square to a set of steps. Don't worry about how I did that. And the first viewport which I'm going to cover is the top left one which is called the side viewport. Now basically this views your shape from the side. Just like I'm showing you now in the perspective viewport. So it's kind of like this but it's with simple shapes on a grid so it's very easy to edit and very easy to figure out what's going on so this is from the side our next one which is in the top right is our front viewport which is from the front like so and then the one in the bottom right is the top and that's kind of just an overhead view like that so those are the different viewports and the main one you need to really navigate is your perspective but you can also drag around any of these viewports to see what's happening and you can scroll in and out to zoom in and out so I'm just gonna so that's quite a nice setup there and I can see easily what I'm doing with all of the viewports so let's just go ahead and open up an example map just to show you kind of what you can do with this really so this is just an example map that comes with it and oh it all looks very complicated but don't worry too much about it. They've obviously got a lot of components they've put together. I mean, wow, look at all of that. And you can see from the overhead view exactly what's happening here. And we can see from our front view, again, we can kind of get a better idea of what's going on. Or if you want a proper idea of what's going on, you can obviously navigate around our perspective view to say, all oh, right, so this is where this vehicle is. This is where we've got lights and other things. So we can just navigate around. And you'll see that where this is actually generally a technique in games where um, they will use these textures on the outside in areas you can't see because it actually uses less of your processor so behind the scenes in games where you don't expect there to be things they'll either be kind of an invisible no texture or you'll get this um, purple and light blue checkerboard or there might be a different kind of checkerboard again which barely takes up any of your CPU just a little bit of information there so this is pretty much what we have going on again we have these little bits of scenery which don't actually lead on to anything that doesn't matter oops I keep pressing that button but it doesn't matter because when you're actually here you don't really see any of the bottom well it's not that you don't really you don't see any of it at all all you see is the top parts and your brain goes oh there must be some stuff down there but in fact the game developers have only made these top parts to fool you into thinking there's things over there so that's just a bit of information on how it really works. Where's our main room? Here we go. So now we're back in here. So this is really all that I'm going to teach you in this tutorial. Basic viewports, how to navigate around, see what's happening. I suggest you look around some of the example maps and see what they're doing, see what's going on. And in the next tutorial, I will talk to you about these different viewport options and we'll probably do some other stuff as well. So that's the end of this tutorial, and have a nice day.